here back with another Swift Basics video. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at what is a function, another core programming concept. So by the end of the video, you're gonna know what a function is, why we use them, and then how you can implement them using Swift. So let's get started. So firstly, what is a function? So in its simplest terms, a function is a piece of named code that performs a specific task. So you're essentially creating a set of instructions or a routine that is completed when you call the function. So when we created a variable in my previous video, we declared the variable, we gave it a name, and then we stored a piece of data in that variable. Functions are similar, but rather than just storing a piece of data, you're storing a set of instructions, okay? A section of code that you can then reuse by calling the function name. So if we take an example from Swift Playground's uh, Learn to Code, uh, which I have um, up here in the top left, um, on here, your character Byte essentially is tasks with traveling around different mazes uh, having to collect gems and you use different types of programming uh, to get him to do so. Now, functions are introduced quite early on in Learn to Code 1 um, and they're introduced by getting your character to turn right. Um, within Learn to Code you have um, commands to move forward, you have commands to turn left but there's no command to turn right so the only way you can get him to turn right is by putting in turn left three times. Now you can see if you have a maze where you have multiple right turns, having to put left turn left three times for every one right turn, your code's gonna start to get quite long, quite inefficient, quite quickly. So that's where creating a function which contains three turn left commands, and then all you'd have to do is call the name of that function when you wanna turn right, that's where the use of functions uh, can really help you out when writing a program. So let's actually jump in and have a go at creating a function. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into Learn to Code 1, because this is probably the best place that we can put together a function and actually see um, how it works. Okay, so I've jumped straight to the creating a new function section. So if you're on a different section, um, or if you don't have Learn to Code firstly, if you go back and check out my video on uh, getting started with Swift Playgrounds and Learn to Code on Mac, that goes through everything you need to get Learn to Code on your Mac. Um, if you do have it and you're on a different task, just click on uh, this button up here in the top left, so next to the back arrow, uh, and that opens up this sidebar with all of the different tasks inside Learn to Code. So the one we're gonna be using is creating a new function. So once you've got that selected, you can go ahead and close the sidebar. So in here, we need to create a turn right function that contains three turn left commands. So we create our function here by using the uh, letters F-U-N-C. So that tells our program that we're going to create a function. Um, we then have to give our function a name. And again, like a variable, this name should be relevant. So this function is to get our character to turn right. So we have called it turn right. You need these two empty brackets at the end. And then we need these curly um, braces, they're called, or curly brackets or squiggly brackets, whatever you prefer to call them. Um, to open and close, and in between these two curly braces is where we put our code. So I'm going to go ahead and put turn left, turn left, and then one more. Okay, so now when we call our function, it will run this code inside of the function, which is turn left three times. Now, on its own, if I ran this program now, in fact, let's uh, zoom back out. 
and we'll go ahead and run the code. So you can see nothing happened. And you might be thinking, well, I've got the code, I've created a function, it's got three turners, why is nothing happening? So a function on its own will not um, run. Nothing will happen because you haven't called the function. So the function just stores the routine or the set of instructions or the section of code that you have created. We have to do what is called calling the function to actually get it to run. So in our maze here, we have byte, we need him to move forward and then we want him to turn right. So I'm gonna go ahead here and just put in a move forward command and then I'm going to call my turn right function underneath. So unless we call it by writing the name of the function, this won't be run. It's stored, it's there, it's ready for whenever we want our character to turn right. So let's go ahead and run it now. Okay, so we can now see that our character Byte is facing the right way over here. Okay, so that is how we create a function in Swift. We declare our function name. We tell the computer we want to create a function by using FUNC. We give our function a relevant name. We have two empty brackets at the end. We have two curly braces and in between those, we put the code that we want to run when we call our function in our code. Okay, I hope that that has been useful for you. Uh, and if you have been following along, um, you now know how to implement variables in Swift along with implementing functions. So if this has been useful, please consider uh, liking the video and remember you can subscribe if you're looking for more tech tutorials and programming tutorials like this. I'll see you in the next video.